Well, a uh, little bit excited today. I've got a mate, Mel, who uh, I've known for a fair while, lives on a boat a fair bit. Uh, he's a tug driver here in Gladstone and he's invited uh, me and Pete out to uh, do a bit of tug work. So I'm really looking forward to that. So we're going to pack up and meet him at uh, 10 o'clock. We're going out to uh, escort a gas tanker back out through the channel at Gladstone and uh, out to sea. So that should be pretty interesting. I'll take you guys along. <laughs> Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Skipper's cabin and office by the look of it. But uh, what a nice looking little cabin actually. So we're going to go down into the engine room before uh, this they fire worse. it up and make everything noisy. Have a look at the heart of the tug first. And you're lucky the engine room's cold. Not been running for the 12 hours. Still, still a fair bit of warmth coming out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what sort of temperature does it get down here, no? Uh, probably not a lot more than it is now because of the big blowers we got. Yeah. Now you're going to ask me technical stuff and I can't remember. Uh, so this is sharp dry? Yeah. Yep. So they're not on a... A swiveling nozzle or anything? Yeah, at the end I'll show you. So two two main engines, three gensets because we got electric winches on these. Yeah. The gas wanted. Yeah. And they're Volvos. Volvos, yeah. yeah. And two mains a bit bigger than Volvos. So uh, this is the fire pump. The Fifi on deck. Yeah. To squirt the water. Yeah. And at 120 meters it's still gonna be 60 meters high. That's how far it squirts. What, so what's and that about? What's the fire pump? If there's a fire, fire on a ship. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it. with the gas, it's bound to be cool in only. Yeah. And in but uh, yeah, it's about yeah. 200 litres a second it throws at 160 metres 60 high. So quick. I mean, that's the size of the suction for it, you know, and it's feeding up through that. So we've got sewer system, air conditioning system, and box coolers. Yeah. And cools the engine, like heat exchanger type setup. Yeah. And compressor, De we air start on these ones. Yeah. So if the compressors don't go, there's actually a hand pump you can <laughs> pressurize the cylinder with if you've got long enough. Bit of bilge pumping. Just a bit of bilge system there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, but nicely, nicely done, eh? Right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. It'd be a pleasant place to be as an engineer, I'd reckon. Uh, a fuel oil tank, so the pumps fuel up into these. Yep. And then, yeah, it's gravity fed gravity the engine, fed, yeah. so you don't get any air problems or mm. Mm. bleed problems or anything. And I nice little workshop, they though. Are. Two compressors for filling the BA gear or scooper yeah. tanks oh, yeah. through to here. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then we've got a clutch in here, so it, it'll disconnect here. Once I clutch it in, 
then the prop is spinning, uh, but it's a variable pitch propeller, so it's on zero pitch. Yeah. When we fire it all up and go in, I'll show you upstairs. Yeah. There's an escape ladder out here to the deck, and there's one in the engine room. So. And that's all just hydraulics for, for steering? So it's, it's all hydraulics, everything in here, and it, it can be, you can steer from here. You can see we've got the control panel yeah. shows that the thrust is going out the side. So if everything breaks down, I've got two systems up there, but the engineer can come down here with the headsets on and I communicate and tell him, uh, yeah, okay. give us five degrees, five port, degrees port, port rudder. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. not really a rudder, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the third backup is all done from here. Oh, right. So if we lose all power, I can still communicate from oh, the wheelhouse. Okay. Yep. So it creates its own power. You've got to give it a wind and you yeah. get two minutes of talking out of it. So yeah, you know, very impressive, isn't it? Yeah. I get you to shut the door as he comes out. Blew this open? No, close it up, thanks. Yeah, it's all... Till the engineer's on board, it's sort of all sealed up in case, you know. Yeah. So. So there's an escape hatch here to the deck from yeah. here if you get caught in the engine room. Yeah. We've got the uh, inbuilt firefighting system, internal fires. Uh, yeah. It's a, it a second one. Uh. They're all salt water? Just salt water pick up, yeah. yeah. We don't fire it till we've all mustered up there, you know, like it's never going to be fired while the engineer's here. Yeah. Yeah, but all this will flash and the alarms will go and yeah. red lights and all sorts going off everywhere. Yeah. And do you have to shut air off? Yeah, all all vents. Yeah. Most of it shuts automatically, yeah. but there's a few smaller ones you can close manually. I was going to ask you if you had a control room, but yeah. It's a bit cooler in here. So from here he can start, stop generators, set it all up. And he's got the full engine diagnostic here. And there's the aircon. So I can, all of this is up in the bridge too. So uh, how many uh, crew on the boat, Mel? Just three of us. There's me, an engineer, and a decky. Wow. So good. You'll see it all. So yep. this is crew accommodation in here, basically. So first one on the right, that's the engineer's cabin. It's a bit like mine, right? Yep. He's got his own cat. And then there's crew cabins, there's three of these. They're a double bunk with an ensuite in each cabin. Yep. Just a... So yeah, three double bunk cabins yep. with ensuite. Oh. Uh, yep. Six crew down here, the engineer gets his own cabin, and I got my own cabin. Another fire door, and every door opens in your way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this just sort of shows how far we're going down. Once you're here, you can see we're getting closer to the, the bow yeah, of the boat. Yeah, yeah. That's the anchor locker on one right. side, yep. and that's got the last link of the chain on it here. Oh, okay, yeah. So it can yep. be let go. Yeah, yep. yep. And there's another one on the other side. Yeah. This is all cooling and stuff for the electric winches right. and the electrical panels in here. Yeah, no, this should be air conditioned too. It's off, I won't touch it. Yeah, that's yeah. engineer Engineer stuff. Fire in the air conditioning room in behind all of that. So, I think too. This is where the real work is done up here. <laughs> this, is, this is what the engineers call fantasy land. <laughs> <laughs> That's a helm ship. <laughs> Best office in town. Here comes the decky, so we can get coffee soon. <laughs> so, these one here actually turn those pods, right? Yeah. And I'll put them back out for the start. On top, I've got the throttles, and it automatically does the pitch control. So I can go into reverse pitch and revs. We'll go forward, full power, full pitch. So is there, um, does that automatically delay or it just can go from one pitch forward to reverse? It's just, no, it's a variable pitch prop, so it'll just... Uh, yeah, but you don't have to pause it or anything? No, else. no, 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 it's all computerised, looks after itself, so yeah. it's all pretty simple. So, so how much training they give you on running it the... It takes thing? a month 
before your head can sort of figure out what's going on. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like I say, if you can drive it for 100 meters, straight line, uh, you, know <laughs> you get the carton of we, beer. We get, <laughs> I've given none away yet. <laughs> Mel's uh, offered a carton of beer if, if either of us can drive it in a straight line for 100 meters. So. After I show you how to do it even. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, you don't show us first. No, I'll, 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 I'll show you first. <laughs> I'll just so, turn so, on some of this so you, while I'm here. You control, you control the ship, but you also control all the winches. And... The winches are all done from here. That's winch controls over here. Yeah. And once we fire up, we'll test it all. You know, I'll test everything before we leave the berth. Yeah. So yeah, you'll be here to see all of that. Comms up there. So when when I'm driving, which ones? Which are we? That's the best one. So I've got a, a microphone transmit here. The Velcro is on the side, so I can push that with my knee. Yeah. Because I've got two hands busy. Yeah. This one talks to the deck crew. Yeah. This one talks to the other tug. Yeah. This one, <laughs> where's it going up here? This one talks to harbour control, and this one's the pilot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you got a bit going on. So yeah, you really, you really need next talking. Yeah. we've just got to be quiet so I yeah, don't yeah. miss a yeah. command, you know. Yeah. But you'll pick that up pretty quick. So uh, the pilot controls you guys. He tells us what he wants: push half, push full, pull full, yeah. stop, whatever. Under yeah. power while you guys are. Yeah, in. yep, yep. They'll yeah. still be under power, and yeah, we'll drag it off the berth, and then he'll take off on his own. And the gas ones will be a tug at the front, bow to bow with him, that'll pull him to get him going. And it gives us better control of the ship. But the coal ships, we're just on the side of the ship, you know, and they go forward and back there on their own. Yeah. So, so but you'll see all that. Today, we're doing a gas out, which That's is piteous. Right. Yep, right, so we go up to the gas place. So you've got lots of time to learn how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> so how many knots does this do? Ah, uh, 13 on a good day. But you'll be surprised up here, you think, oh, we're only just idling along, and then you look at the speed and, wow, 12 knots, you know, yeah. so it's, yeah. it's not fast, but it's got the power. Yeah. And if I try hard, I can burn 800 litres an hour each side. Like a Riviera. <laughs> yeah. Just like a Riviera. <laughs> or Pete. <laughs> no. no, it's pretty formidable, eh? And the the uh, fire monitors, they're pumping out how much water if you need it? It's about 180 litres a second. A second. It's a lot so, of water, eh? And I can hose the end of the walkway up there, you know, from here. Yeah, okay. So, I hope we don't need it today. And you've got nozzle <laughs> control and that? Yeah, it's in this back corner here. It's just joysticks. Yeah. i got to turn it all on here and connect it to the engine. Yeah. And it takes 80% of the engine power each pump each side oh, right. so it leaves me 20 percent to maneuver the tug with all i get to once it goes into the firefighting mode all i've got is pitch control here no revs because the revs are already on full yeah. to give it full water noise yeah so i just got the pitch to drive with and it's the same but just slow you know because you've got yeah. no so. so if you want to talk your bow around you 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 just Rotate the nozzle. Yeah. Well, you're, when we leave the berth, I will just walk sideways off of here and then reverse up. You know. Yeah. And there'll be another tug in front of us. He comes in, turns around, and we sit bow to bow here. So normally you got to come in and spin the tug around the park, yeah. which can be good to see. Yeah. But this is be just a straight drive in and a drive out. But yeah. So do you have to do. Uh, Every year, do you have to go and do simulation of the drivers? Uh, only for the gas stuff, we've been doing a lot of simulation for all the coal ships and everything else. Is sort of when you can do it, it's like riding a bike. Yeah. And then, uh, but the gas likes us to do emergency drills and stuff. They lose engines or the rudders are stuck over, and we've had it, you know. Sort yeah. of. Yeah. I think the first ten gas ships come in, there was two breakdowns. Yeah. One lost power and one had a rudder jammed hard over. Yeah. <laughs> we thought, oh, there's not a good percentage going here. <laughs> not a good start. Uh, there's been very few since. Yeah. All the other vessels around, you know, the ship's anchored here. Yeah. Uh, once I click onto them, 
if that's, that's a ship over at the wharf. I'm gonna have to zoom in a touch. Oh, that's out. What should we do? It should. So what it. system is that? It's an Ectus system. So it's it will replace paper charts, but you've got to have two complete systems with separate power sources, and then we could throw away the paper charts. But no, this company saved a dollar, so we've got the Ectus system that we can't use, yeah. and we've still got all the paper charts that we do our corrections on every two weeks. Yeah, right. So it's... I was going to ask you whether you carry paper charts, but yeah. you do. <laughs> they're they're yeah. our primary source of navigation, and most tugs are under the master's mattress. Just yeah. to get them out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Most, most of them are on, on cruising boats as well. <laughs> so this is here just as an aid to navigation now. Yeah. So, so what have you got on your boat, navigation-wise? Just Ray Marine. Uh, yeah. I've got charts there, but they're not corrected up. Yeah. Yeah. If I get that desperate, I can drag them out somewhere. Not much else exciting happening here. You can drive the winch from inside, or you can drive it from out here. If we're doing not during towage because we have no one on deck if there's any load on the on the line okay yep. so i won't pull on the rope until everyone is sort of back inside yeah your know, winch looks a bit rusty on this one so so <laughs> so they send a um what's the signal wire messenger line up, do they? yeah um, the ship will throw a, a heaving line down yeah and we tie that the white rope is our messenger so we tie that on yep. and they can take that up and put it on their drum end of the winch to pick up the main tow line. Let's do it again. So that's our anchor chain. <laughs> yep. 600 well, kilos yeah. of anchor hanging on the other end of that. And there's six shackles one side and five the other. Has a working load of 440 ton, I think it is. Ooh. So it's Dyneema. Dyneema. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. Dyneema. So. And we've got two drums we can switch between. And this is the messenger rope, but, and this is like 60 ton. Feel how heavy this is. That's 60 tons. It floats, yeah, and it's just nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So if we're going to a gas fire, see all the red hoses? Yeah. All the red pipes all have outlets, and it puts a fog over the whole boat, water over the whole boat. Yeah. So, right. yeah absorbs all the heat and stuff if we are near a fire. Yep. Emergency generator. So there's a cat generator in here. So that's above water and line. And it's above there. Yeah. Above the sealed deck. It's got its own fuel tanks. And it will come in automatically too if the others die for whatever reason. Yeah. What's the service life on them? As long as they can keep them going. Yeah. yeah. As long as they're reliable and going. But yeah. Yeah. Switzers were all 20 years old when they were here we were using this yeah. and they're still going now so they're 30 years yeah right so yeah so they got 15 a... million dollars a piece so you can't throw them away straight up you know? no you they'd have coffee on board wouldn't you <laughs> you got coffee just no machine <laughs> it'll be on order so this is the mess room where you can't get a coffee oh well, here's where you can't get the coffee oh there's a <laughs> yeah Coffee pods. We got coffee dripper, but we got pods. I mean, there's prison coffee if you're desperate. Oh, yeah, no, it's all right. It's a good little galley, though, eh? So, and yeah. Uh, I can't believe there's no coffee machine. How can they work a tug without that? Wait for us, mate. I got the blue lights from my boat on the stairs, and Norm calls them the wink lights. Yeah, same <laughs> so, emergency escape sort of stuff steering systems. So I'll check the backup system first. So I've got pitch control. You can see the pitch come up on the yep. just the LED Sound one. It's a bit slow here. Oh yeah, half hour before. And the other one's steers. Push button steering. So that's the backup steering, and then I got the main steering, so it all goes through it again. And I get pitch and I engine revs on this one. Okay. I can't hear those motors running from up here, can you? No. Clutch the clutches now, it will engage the propellers. You always do the outside one first. 
and then watch what's up here is different on the other side. So that's good. So that shows the shaft revs in digital on the bottom there then. So the prop shaft spinning at 124 revs, but there's no pitch on the propeller. Just a bit of a cavitation type thing, yeah, you know, it always rattles and shakes up here, unfortunately. It all tucks to it. So do you talk to uh, yes. Yeah, one tug normally calls for four of us. Okay. Yeah, um, there's four tugs on this job, so yeah, the first one out makes the call. Yeah. So on the gas ships, Melbourne, the requirement's four tugs. Four tugs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All so, the way out. Yeah. yeah. No, no, only to just past here. Oh, okay. So we'll come back this far with it. But I'll get straight here and I'll give you a drive. What shows it is the wash out the back. You look out here. Yeah. You see how straight he's steering by the wash. Yeah. <laughs> if you get that down pat, I'll make it go faster and you can try it all again. <laughs> well, this is, this is definitely the biggest vessel I've uh, ever had my hands on, that's for sure. I've driven a few, but nothing like this. <laughs> But see, with the two nozzles, you've got okay, speed control good. built in as well. Yeah. So if you turn on both around, you know, if they both go 90 degrees, you can be full power yeah, and do right. nothing. Yeah. Because they're pushing against each other. Yep. So if you bring them back at 45 degrees each, but you've only got half the power going forward, half of it's getting wasted out the side. And we have uh, Captain Pythagoras at the wheel. <laughs> and he's lost it. You don't need that much, eh? Hey? You. Well, we've given control back to the skipper after nearly running onto the rocks twice. <laughs> Certainly uh, a different thing to drive, that's for sure. And of course, this is close to the hits. Yeah, it's just uh, getting aboard now. So we'll be awaiting directions, I'd imagine. Yeah, we'll put our line up here and then we'll move down and we'll push up on the tug mark over here to pin him on the wolf while he unties his lines. And then we'll probably, once he's all ready to go, he might put us out on the line to pull, but number one will be pulling for sure. And we might be helping him, it's, each pilot's different. And uh, look like they'll have to let go of the headline. Peter, come in. Hey, Rachel, I'm just standing by. And good morning, Gav. We've got Mal on the Curtis Island, tuck two. Just got a line going up now. G'day, Mal. Uh, Curtis, tuck two, uh, line going on deck on the starboard shoulder. Thank you. Uh, ship's going to do an engine check shortly. We'll bring you up when you're ready for that. Cheers. Good morning, Brad. You got Rocco on the Wiggins left. Zero nine. That's yes. tug two, all fast on the tug mark. Fairway. Two is fast on the tug mark, and you can increase to a quarter push tank. Tug two. Two push quarter. And tug three push quarter. Oh, 
by four in close to half. Line, pull the bell up. Nah, 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 that Depending on the pilot, some of them will drag right out onto the leads in line yeah. and then go, and some will actually steer the ship as we go. Yeah. Because there's another ship here, I'm guessing he's going to come out a fair way. And, uh, but he's not pulling anymore at the back. So he's going round to start yeah. towing him now. Yeah. We're still dragging him out. Yeah, yeah, just get some moving act because they're a fixed pitch propeller on them yeah. and it's geared to do whatever speed they do. Oh, no. not Keep going backwards, but just slower, you know, so it yeah. slows us on the ship. Uh, so one reef line. Precision stuff, eh? Uh, the harbour shuts at forty or fifty five. Relocating the arm. So one, mine back, and I came back to the port side of the transplant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we turn into the Auckland Channel, then they'll tell us to shorten yeah. up. Yeah, tug one, ready, let go. We're indicating the crew now. Okay. I can't see the back of the tug, and it's hard to pick the shape of the ship. To run parallel to it once you get here. And that's Tug 1 recovered line, moving clear. Good run out. We'll catch you next time. Cheers. Cheers, man. I'll take mate. Have a good one. Hang on. Battleship turn. Uh, tug 3. Do you want to let us know where you're at? Oops.
you and your destroyers said, this is what they do. Roll it over because it's a great joke. George alarm going And then the engineers have to go and answer alarms because it upset tanks. Uh, it's outside. It's a bilge alarm. It's got yeah. class of VDS. It's up at Curtis Island. Yeah, morning, Gladson. Four tugs completed with the outbound gas and returning tug base. Oh, that's tug three. Oh, that's tug three. Thanks very much, Rocco. See you next time, Jim. And tug four, let's know where you're in. All our Gitana traffic, four tug center in tug base. This tug ahead of us should go in and he'll spin around and tie up. Yeah. Yep. Uh, who it? Thank you.